Okay, we're continuing with the evidence that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah. Let's just pray before you acquire so that we, this can be his work, not our work. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Messiah, our Lord Yeshua the Mashiach, to die for our sins, to be buried, to rise from the dead, to ascend to heaven and to be seated at your right hand. And he will return to judge the quick and the dead at the end of the ages and the beginning of the world to come. We just thank you for our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the Holy Spirit which you've given us. We thank you that you enable us to pray to you in spirit-given languages. We bless and magnify your great and holy name, your Qua, for all that you've done in our lives in bringing Jesus to us and allowing us to worship you, the only true God, through your Son, our Lord Yeshua the Messiah, by the power of your Holy Spirit put in us and causing us to work in the ways of your Hakim and your Mishpatim and your Torot and your Pekadot. We thank and praise you, Yahuwah, for all that you've done in our lives. We pray now that you'll be with every listener and every word I speak, it will go forth as a blessing to the nations. In the name of our Lord, Yeshua the Mashiach. Amen. Okay, so we're going to continue now. We're going to start with the Psalm 2. How is Psalm 2, the Davidic Psalm, connected with our Lord, Yeshua the Mashiach? Okay, lost the page there, but here we go. Let us look at this, that great messianic psalm declaring the sonship and the world dominion of Mashiach. That is Psalm 2. Here we are clearly told it is the nations raging against Yahuwah and his son. In this psalm, the Mashiach is Yahuwah's Mashiach. And he speaks in the psalm saying, I will declare the decree. Yahuwah said to me, Benai Bani Ata Ani Hayom Yelitiha Sheal Memani Ve Etena Goyim Nechalateha Va E Hutzer Hutzdecha Afesai Eretz. Or in English, Ask of me, and I will give thee the nations as your inheritance, the ends of the earth as your possession. So we can see here with a prayer, the whole earth and what is in it is given to Mashiach. In verse 11, the kings and the judges of the earth are commanded, Avedu et Yahuwah, ba serve Yahuwah with fear and rejoice with trembling. So here again, among the Gentiles of the earth, we have the fearers of Yahuwah. But in this case, the scripture goes further and requires the Gentile rulers to Nesheku Var, kiss the sun, or in some Hebrew translations, kiss the pure, lest he be enraged and ye perish from the way. So the sun is specifically put forward as a person requiring respect, and the one who trusts in the sun is happy, Asherah. Yeshua used this scripture as the foundation of his church. Here he declares that Yahuwah said he was his son. He is the son of Yahuwah. And in Matthew 16, or Matthew 16, it is his student, Shimon ben Jonas, who declares, You are Mashiach ben Elohim. And Yeshua declares that Shimon received that from Yahuwah, Yeshua's father, and renamed Shimon Kepha, meaning Kepha, meaning stone, declaring, on this rock I will build my kehila, I will build my community, I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. In other words, even death is unable to stand against Mashiach's kehila, Mashiach's church, as he showed by rising from the dead. The image of the rock is vitally important. For we have a number of prophetic stones in scripture which receive their fulfillment in Yeshua and his Keilah, his church. The first we will mention is that in the writings of Daniel the seer. Here in the chapter 2 we see a stone which was cut without hands. And this stone is interpreted by Daniel to Nebuchadnezzar as representing the kingdom of God. In the days of those sovereigns, the Elah of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, nor shall the rain pass on to another. It crushes and puts an end to these other reigns. For the writings of Daniel, it is clear that it is during the days of the Roman Empire are the days which the Elah of heaven will set up his kingdom. The very days when Yeshua appeared proclaiming the kingdom of Elah, 
the book of Daniel and this particular prophecy are recorded in Aramaic and Yeshua proclaiming in Aramaic now since the prophet requires the setting up of that kingdom and then its destruction of the Gentile kingdoms and finally the mountain grows and fills the earth as a mountain we can say that growth as a process see that growth as a process is a process which happens sometimes almost imperceptibly but at least it takes place over time so we can look back to the period of the reign of the Roman Empire and ask is there any institution claiming to be linked with the kingdom of Allah which was set up in those days then we are, can ask has that institution grown continually from that day does that institution run contrary to the thinking of the kingdoms of this world and is that institution populated saints by saints for we turn to Daniel's parallel vision in Daniel 7 and we find that the kingdom is a kingdom ruled by saints or holy ones or set apart ones if we look to the period of history in question we find that there is such an institution on earth which has had continual existence since the days of the Roman Empire is populated by saints for if we read the Brit Hadashah this is the title given often to the believers and claims to be the kingdom of Allah of the Most High God this institution is the Kahila of Mashiach Yeshua the church of Yeshua the Mashiach who is called the son of the Most High El and even bears a title El with us Emmanuel so if we took historically if we look historically at the periods concerned and then look over history to see which organization could possibly satisfy those of the stone of Daniel we come to Yeshua it cannot be the rest of the Yehudim for they have not increased in power at all nor did any of them claim in the Talmud that they were setting up the kingdom of God then we come to the stone of the great Hallel in Psalm 118 it says I thank you for you have answered me and have become to me Yeshua salvation the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone this is from Yahuwah it is marvelous in our eyes or this is Yahuwah's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes so here again we have the song that shall be sung in the days of Isaiah 12 about El becoming Yeshua but here again we see clearly the prophesied rejection of Yeshua now we know that when the men moved by the Holy Spirit wrote the scriptures they did not punctuate as we do today so perhaps we can be cheeky enough to paraphrase I thank Yah you have answered me and become to me Yeshua the stone that the builders rejected who has become the chief cornerstone now just in case it is presumed that I made this application up we can note a that this psalm was the psalm of the followers of Yeshua the psalm the followers of Yeshua chanted as Jesus Yeshua rode into Jerusalem a few days before he was rejected by the leaders of the Yehudim not by all the Yehudim but most of their leaders as being an imposter and a blasphemer he was however crucified by the Romans as king of the Yehudim so the followers of Yeshua knew this psalm applied to him right back there when he was moving in the body among us in the body oh how marvelous this is already in the eyes of more than three billion Gentiles even the blind and the erroneous Muslims know that Yeshua is the cor chief cornerstone and they too will come to understand that he is the son of Allah and a few score thousand Yehudim but how much more so when the rest of the Yehudim see this emissary Saul Apostle Sha'or says it will mean life from the dead so come according to his word or Apostle Paul says it will mean life from the dead so according to his word we can expect the turning to Yeshua the stone the builders rejected of the Yehudim just before resurrection day we will look at one more stone we know that the stone we are looking at is that of the revelation of Yeshua as Mashiach ben Elohim it is this stone who will smash the kingdoms of this world into dust and replace them with the kingdom of God and of the heavens the most high whose proper name is Yahqua and who had become to those who receive him Yeshua short for Yehoshua as Yohanan says who is he that overcomes the world he who believes Yeshua is the son of Elohim for this purpose Mashiach was revealed to destroy the works of the evil one so the final stone we will look at is that of Isaiah 28 